What? Should I publicize this one? Be my first ever. my loner self just for a little little longer I can build up my 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 house and we'll work it from there I will decide when that happens <clears throat> oh yeah yeah I see what this means huh it means we're establishing a Ford operating base, if you will. Likely here. Uh, I'm sorry, Woodguard. Yeah, that's what I want. And it'll be a way to teleport a decent distance, you know, throughout, you know, across the map, because I don't have any such ability. I guess this is one of the only ways to do it. And I have four, I have the ability to set up four of these uh, flame altars. Right? What do you call these? I'm sorry. Flame altar. Yeah. And so here we go. I'm pretty much ready for travel. Um, I have my food. The weapons. Kind of overdone on the grapes. The berries. <clears throat> Wait. I get max rest. I don't think so. There you go. Another minute and change is gonna do much. Don't stop running. Let's go. No. <clears throat> kind of refrain from looting. I want to keep. I would like to <clears throat> have as much space as possible. Strikes.
Beastie. Nicely timed parry slash block. Sekiro, thank you so much. Sekiro. color and all that bark what generic loot Target with the oh, it's game changer. Mouse three. Oh, five scraps, man. That was the best ever. Scraps. Oh, 
but alas. I didn't know. That's cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See it from here where I gotta go. <clears throat> Jesus. Zoom out like that. What's going on here? Why? You. 
too far. <laughs> Usually I have yeah, a little meat. That's why I like you guys. I hate killing you. Because you're cute. But you provide me. Strangely. Goats, sheep don't provide the meat. Wolves don't provide meat. These little rabbit esque creatures do. <clears throat> okay, this is Peaceful Acres. Cool place. Uh, if I didn't know any better, I would actually establish my base here. But, I do know better. There is a much cooler location a little further away. A little further down. A lot of wolves here. This <laughs> one comes out of the cave, huh? Bones. Bones and fur. It is what it is. hiding in there. Alright. And there it is. This. This. This is where I'm going to establish my second uh, living quarters. I'll just tell everyone I, I I built this from the ground up. <laughs> just kidding. I will make some serious, uh, do some serious reno on it. Uh, oh, let's go that way. Give me your your wax, the honey. This game is legitimately love it. Uh. What is that? Firefly? Sundown? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Here's a 
just think it's like visually uh, pretty pretty spectacular. It's like hovering over the shroud. Um, it's cool. I just realized that. I guess they they respawn the um the cops. A caravan of refugees arrived today from the Kindle Wastes. A long journey. I've never been good with strangers, but there was no time to tattle. I dove into work, dressing the wounds, a battle for life and death, even now. Sadly, some lost. We put them to rest in the crypt below. May the northern winds guide them to the afterlife. There's one who might live despite it all. A deep leg wound. But maybe not too far gone. The wounded, Salim, smiles a lot. Says he owes me his life. Just luck, I think. You need that before? Straight. Oh, yeah. You. with a melee. Alright, provide salt, I guess that might be his main, main thing. So pretty. I've never looked at these things before, what the fuck? Let me see, the new rivals have wasted no time breaking ground, building something. The determination is fanatical. A flame sanctum, Salim says. Some nights I've lingered near the caravan, Salim insists, over the fire. The talk of their home, the sands, and the creeping ruin. So much sorrow. Salim says I'm like a daffodil, for a sign of spring. He's a fool. That was sweet. Oh, you can sleep here? Shite. Or just might to get me out of this dark. I hate these sound effects. It's like, I don't even know if they act actively mean something, like your enemy is approaching, but. It's scary, man. Okay. Oh. Now 
now I don't need twigs. this up. Is that scraps? Oh yeah. More scraps? Yes. Yes. Oh. What's that? Why is the music? What is that? Oh no. Here, I'm gonna have to look like, this with these fucking bees, man. Shit. I, wait. <clears throat> I know it might sound like a noob thing, but how do you kill these things? I'm gonna just sit here and hold my ankles for it. I've never tried to attack you. Maybe I'll build a new structure right here, in front of the church. Yeah, you know what? That's my plan. Wait, oh, I can't move it? I can move everything else in this game. Oh, whatever. I didn't realize it's gonna look stupid like that. Oh, man. Thing is, I should have read up on this before I did anything.
Oh wait, there's a video. Bear with me, folks. Believe me when I say. Believe me when I say. I'm in pain. You know, I should have moved my flame altar there or there or there. Well, let me explain to you how you can do that in Enshrouded. If you go to your flame and you say extinguish, you can see it says areas not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud. Placed items will be lost. Now, it doesn't say placed by this flame. It say by the flame. And if I take out my hammer, you will see there is a boundary on the outside, the orange line. This is the boundary where everything inside will be kept. Everything outside will be reverted either by logging out and logging in by restarting your server or by leaving the area for two hours, about 400, 500 meters away. And then when you come back two hours later, this should have been reverted. So plants should be growing back and things like this. Now, if I want to move this flame, uh, let's say I want to move it here, then we can do that. Now I'm going to move the flame to the back just to show an example of what is happening if you do this. So the plan here is to craft another flame altar and we have it right here in my inventory now, so I can move it around. And you can see when I move this flame altar, it does show the other orange line around it. As long as I keep my build inside this orange line, everything will be saved. Now, because I'm going to move it somewhere to the back, just to show an example of what is happening, you'll see that the orange line of this flame altar is not covering the whole floor in the front. So if you go to my hammer, you will see that this orange line here is cutting off at least the front of these. So if I would go to building, you will see there's like... You see this size here, this is not inside the orange line. I'm assuming these will probably stay because they are still halfway inside the orange line. But these will be removed when logging out. At least when I extinguish my flame. So if I extinguish my flame... This is going to take 30 seconds. Then this orange line will disappear. Everything that is outside of this orange line will be reverted. And also these blocks will be removed. But they only will be removed after I log in or log out. So it is possible to move your flame while you're playing even with only one flame. But I would advise against it just because the game can crash. The server can crash. You can accidentally log out, who knows. So it's better to just protect your base with a second flame and then move the one you want in the right position. All right, as you can see, we have now the flame in the back. This one here in front is covering only partially my floor. We're gonna log out and we're gonna log back in. And if we now go and look to the front of our building, you can see three of the stones mm. are gone, but everything else has been saved. Okay. So now I can just take my, go to crafting. So you have to extinguish it. It just takes a grace period. <clears throat> now we're going to put my flame I altar being, uh, where I want it. I want it to be impatient. here instead. Patience is a virtue, my friend. Good things come to those who wait sometimes. In this case, yes. And one of the greatest things about this these garlic pieces. Thank God. Oh. Oh. Why? Why did the ball do something? What, what was that about? All right, you five stone. Now I need stone. Jesus.
Come on. Yeah. It's a little glitchy sometimes with the moving. The movement. One more. Thank you, Scourge. Having a great steam, uh, having a great stream now since you're here. Thanks, thanks for popping in, buddy. Real cool of you, I appreciate that. Stone. Oh. Just kidding. Alright. And there it is, folks. Second home and a fast travel. Was able to fast travel to the Cinder Vault. Right, let's go home first, real quick. Yes. Make some nails while we're at it. Strike while the iron.
There it is. The runes. Um. surplus here. Give me the surplus, give me the sur oh wait, no. to cook, all right. <clears throat> Oh my god, it's so sick. Oh my god. It's called lightning, but I guess it's it's really just uh it's a vessel for any any type of spell. That's crazy That's interesting. heals others like it could only heal your buddies is that what I'm that's what I'm seeing here hmm okay
most interesting. Get a center vault. Looked like he could actually jump down there, but you know, without some, you know, some fucking pain. I'll be in the fetal position as soon as I try. <clears throat> Return beacons. I totally forgot that. Was. What was called? It. I knew what it was. I just forget what it's called. Mm. 
Sundown. Come on. can't even get there from here I, I, I have a feeling I have to traverse the shroud and get to get to this shrine which is a uh, no <laughs> not right now <laughs> try this get this out of the way After dropping the shit off. I'm not moving anywhere because it's night and I'm I do not like to travel at night. Not that I can't take it. Yeah. I don't think I'm a little bitch. Because I am <coughs> <laughs> Not what I mean, it's just more an annoying and it's more convenience of being able to see where you're going. Um, you know, logically, is I hate not seeing past five feet in front of me. Although right now I can see it. This is going. This is pretty lit. Well illuminated right now, but it's out there. It's pretty shy. Although there's a full moon. It looks like. Oh man, the shooting stars are always, always inspiring, very cool. Look at that. Wow. Fuck these nuts are in. Addicting much? Okay. 
So drop off some of this uh these bombs. Are you scared? Spoken. Gosh, I'm gonna regret that. Give me a moment where I need that shroud. of it this area looks unshrouded like there's no shroud there right another entrance to the <laughs> hell. Because of my my new uh because 
I got um Yeah, Alchemist Ring. Plus ten, plus ten. assume it would. Ah, look. There he is the ground. Come on. Tell me. No? Oh dear. I was duped. Oh wait. Yeah. be a Game of Thrones actually, like that kind of solo work. And would you look at this? Alright. This is called Rookmore. So they want me to forge something. Okay. Well, it's gotta be here. I just love the dust. Yes. Bitch. Those rats. I haven't seen rats in a while. The first house I ever got into, just peaceful acres. Yeah. Fucking rat problem. has a double increase max mana. Yeah. 
have metal? Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah, metal scraps and that shit, bro. Oh. Ew. Yo. <laughs> and in health. Yolanda is still weak. She can barely lift her body from the bed. She sleeps, has hot and cold flashes at night. I muffle her pain grunts with the pillow. Can't let them know we're here. They're always out there, prowling, shrieking through the night. We're surrounded. I don't want them to be our end. I want peace. Side forever. I promise. I love you, Luana. Eleanor. Eleanor. Okay. Oh, see, it tells a story, man. That was him, Eleanor. And this is Yolanda, I guess. You know, it's uh, sad. water.
shit. Nice. I gotta learn how to make this shit. Elixir. Flood of woe. It's a formula I do not quite grasp. Sophisticated beyond imagination. I'm not surprised. To know that the source of this recipe is otherworldly. Created from the flesh are these tiny, delicate fungi growing deep beneath the earth. It grants me power. Yet, when I look at this flask, worry fills my heart. This will never be a, co uh, a cure. A core. <laughs> this will never be a cure will always be a weapon. Perhaps the ancients wanted to hide this for a reason. Balthazar. We meet again, Balthy. I thought this is what I had to do, where I am right now. The fourth weapon of your armor, though. Right? I just see. I see things. Well, maybe now that I have discovered it, it unlocks the necessity of forging armor or weapons, which I had already accomplished by then. Meaning it just, it's considered complete now. But I, it looks like it is, because I don't see anything to do. Just down here. Right here. 
God damn it. Come here. Come here, you little shit. Oh, shut the fuck up. Footsteps. All right, after all that, I mean, how's that? Who the fuck is talking to me? Oh, shit. So I wasn't hearing things. an enemy in here. Oh. 
から。You got it. Fourteen is still here. Oh my god! It looks so awesome. Like a Dragon Ball Z fight going on here. So that's my that's <laughs> yeah that is uh wood guard over there that's cool too right over there is that um there's two structures there it's kind of like a gate Let's head north from here, huh? We can always fast travel right the fuck out. And, uh... I'm gonna write at Woodguard. Okay. Hawkeye. Shrouded. In mystery. This uh what that spring was fast travel, what does that mean? It didn't give me fast travel. Don't tell me that shit. Don't talk about it, we'll be about it. Yeah. 
beetle. Yeah, I've never seen this before. There's another one. Fucking guard? No, dude, stop. 